What's up, everybody? This is Carolina Mike, your host for SharePoint in 60 Seconds, where you can get the information you need in the first 60 seconds. And if you want to stick around for a step-by-step one -step through, then you could do just that. Today, we're going to answer a user question, and we're going to show you all the different ways that you can share a file directly from a SharePoint document library and even prevent downloads. Stick around. I'm a SharePoint expert, play with data extra. Careful with my hands, cause I gotta use them for work. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd. I like maple syrup. All my pancakes, I don't care what you heard. And we're back. First and foremost, thank you so much for your support. We've grown leaps and bounds this year. We're up to over 1,200 subscribers. Thank you. I want you to watch this. If you dig it, give us a thumbs up. If you don't dig it, give us a thumbs down. But if you do that, please comment. Let us know why you gave the thumbs down. Okay, so timer. Well, actually, let's bring up the question. All right, this is from Nick in Australia. Shout out to our folks down under in Australia. Uh, I'll tell you what, just a quick side note. As soon as we can get over to Australia, my uncle and I, we're going to charter a plane or get a flight, whatever. And we're going to go over there, get some metal detectors, and we're going to mine for gold. I mean, I can't stop watching Aussie gold hunters. Anyway, question, the question from Nick, uh, how do we share a file in, uh, in SharePoint and uh, basically prevent downloads? Uh, Nick mentioned using a file handler. I'm not familiar with that, but I do know we've got some built-in features in SharePoint document libraries that can help with that. So let's get the timer going. Okay, first you're going to select the file you want to share. You're going to click the share button right here or the share button up there. It doesn't matter. Just click one. And then you're going to take a look at the verbiage here. This says people in your company with the link can edit. So that means if you share it with someone who had no prior access, they will now have access. Also, keep in mind, if they share this link that you created for them with other people in your company, they're also going to get access. And it's just to this file, this file only. But let's say you're okay with maybe that being the case, but you want to make sure that people can't download the file. So you're going to click on the verbiage here. You're going to go down to uh, disallow editing. So you're going to uncheck that, and you're going to say block downloads. Click apply, and then you've got a link that will do just that. Now, we'll talk about more options in the full run through. So hopefully that made it in under 60 seconds. And now let's continue this and talk about the final details. All right, so we have blocked downloads and this file is view only for people who don't have current, don't currently have access. Again, keep in mind, if you share with this option, you know, the people who forward this are going to be able to do the same thing that you see here. They'll be able to view, but they won't be able to download. And that's because of this text. But let's say you want to uh, trim that down. Let's say you want to just send a file to people who you know already have access. In that case, you can go people with existing access. This has some benefits. One of the biggest benefits is that it does not break the permissions of this file. So if we go back and look at this top option, people in the company, this file is going to have broken permissions. So let's say the document library gets its uh, permissions from a certain group or a certain permission structure, etc. cetera. Uh, maybe it's inheriting from the site itself. Uh, and you've got permissions set up a certain way for the entire document library. When you go ahead and share this using this people in the company option, it breaks these permissions and this file behaves differently. So if you go back and make edits to the document library overall permissions, those permissions will not be effective for this particular file because it's got broken permissions. Now we can show you how to fix that, but that's another video. Okay, so let's say you don't want to break permissions. You don't like to break stuff. You want to just do it and you know the other folks have access. Go ahead and click on people with existing access, click apply, and then start typing the person's name. This is pretty neat because it will not allow you to uh, input a person's name who doesn't have access. Now, this I believe is a little bit of a glitch and why I don't like to uh, play around with uh, some of these settings here, but it looks, uh, it looks as if this is saying the person can't make edits, but that doesn't make any sense, right? You know, we're on people with existing access. Maybe they have existing edit access. Well, let's go back here. I'm going to I'm going to undo this, turn this back on, click apply. You really shouldn't have to do this. We 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 got to do better. We got to do better. I mean, can you you know, you can't go in here and adjust this and say, see, link settings. Yeah, 
I don't know. That doesn't make any sense. Microsoft, if you're watching this, help us out here. All right. So people with existing access, uh, whatever access they had, if they had read-only, they'll continue to have that. If they had read-write, they'll continue to have that. Anyway, click apply and start typing their name, and it won't let you type the name of a person who doesn't have access. Pretty slick. And then the final option is specific people. So let's say you want to grant specific people who don't already have access access to this file. You go specific people. You can adjust the allow editing and the uh, blocking of downloads and then click apply. And now it's going to go to those specified people. The thing about this one is, uh, yes, it's going to break the permissions for this file still. However, it will prevent the people you specify from forwarding this link to others and uh, thus granting them access. If someone else, if someone with this type of uh, a link forward it to someone who didn't have access, they're going to get access and I. There you go. I know there's uh, been a little bit of rambling there when I saw that weird icon. Uh, yeah, you get the point. If you got questions, put them in the comments. What do you think? Do you use this? Was it helpful? Let us know. If you dig it, thumbs up. If you didn't dig it, thumbs down. But remember, you got to give us a comment. So until then, stay positive, keep smiling, and do the best you can with what you got. This is Carolina Mike saying, take it easy. SharePoint rocks, and so do you. See you next time. I'm a SharePoint expert. Play with data extra. Careful with my hands, because I got to use them forward. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd. I like maple syrup. All my pancakes. I don't care what you heard.